So guys, right here, we've basically created our nine feet garland. And yes, I did double check to make sure that it was nine feet. It is nine feet, guys. And we used a total of 16 quads to create this specific garland. So long as you do it within um, an eight inch sizing of each balloons, it should equal to nine feet. Hey guys, welcome back and today we are going to be showing you how to create this beautiful balloon carousel. So I've already added my ribbon to my wall using a small command hook and that's going to be my rigging system to create this part of the carousel. So all I'm doing is I am wrapping the ribbon around the neck of the quad and I'm going to go ahead and continue adding. Now hubby is here with me today and I'm really excited. Um, we really do make a great team. <laughs> so he's helping me to um, get the balloons because we also created this video for Instagram as well. Now guys I do want to tell you that the overall sizing for these balloons are eight inches and I did two of these and they're both nine feet now you're gonna see what we use this part for very soon however I do want to let you guys know that you can go ahead and download the free guide the link is gonna be in the comment section or if you're watching it somewhere else it, there's gonna be a link for you to be able to download the free template that was created as a guide as well as it also includes where we purchase um, the tools and etc now Take your time. I love creating my garlands this way. It really helps me and it creates more uniformity. So take your time, do this, and you'll be fine. The colors that I use are all Kalisa and colors. I use Kalisa and lime green. I use Kalisa and candy pink. Oh, the purple is actually Decomex, and I believe it's a, it's not floral, I believe it's lavender. And then the silver is the Miro silver, also in Khaleesi. So only one color was not Khaleesi, and that's that purple right there. So guys right here we've basically created our nine feet garland and yes I did double check to make sure that it was nine feet it is nine feet guys and we used a total of 16 quads to create this specific garland so long as you do it within um, an eight inch sizing of each balloons it should equal to nine feet for you and once again use that dem template download it and you will be able to do this seamlessly trust me so i cut off that rigging system on the wall and now we're just gonna put this garland to the side for later and i did create two of these so it's two nine feet garlands that have been created and you're gonna see what we're gonna use that for so now we are taking our base. So this base was sized to seven feet and I use a total of five balloons to create this cluster. So I'm just wrapping it around this pole and this pole was sized to six feet and it's a lamp. It's a lamp stand and it's always amazing to use guys. Go to Walmart or Target, you can get it for like 10 bucks. Once again, I'm wrapping it to secure it and if you feel like it's not secure enough, you can go ahead and wrap it again. But this is the perfect way to go about securing your balloons. Mm -hmm. 
now we are taking our mini quads and these are sized to four feet once again we are securing it on our pole or stand by wrapping it one around the other to secure it and we just want to make sure that it's tucked neatly and everything is nice and close together we don't want to we want to um, decrease the gaps within our install especially for this because it's kind of classic and it's not at the same time and the reason why i say it's classic is because everything has a specific sizing in comparison to if you were doing organic installation and then i also say it's kind of because of the colors it's a mismatch of colors like i really didn't care how the colors went i'm totally fine with color blocking when needed and these colors really complemented each other so it worked out perfectly So guys, there was a little gapping there, so I made sure to decrease that gapping by making sure it was in the correct place. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share our video, guys, and comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are about um, this balloon carousel. I personally loved it. I think it was a masterpiece. And this was our first time doing a balloon carousel. And when I tell you, just the colors alone, the vibration of the colors was amazing. So up here, we're going again and we're putting our cluster of five, size to seven inches to the top. And we are actually doing three at the top. So at the bottom, we had only two clusters of five, size at seven inches. And then at the top, we have three clusters of five, sized at seven inches as well. And this is basically just to end that mini cluster that we just created, which is absolutely stunning in itself. So guys, I am so short, Ugh, it's ridiculous. So now we're taking the nine feet garland that we created, and now we're gonna put it around our seven inch balloons um, cluster. So the base, actually helps to support this garland that has to go around it to fully create that carousel look that we want to accomplish. Now, what I did was I made sure that I had extra ribbon when I cut it at the end. So what I'm gonna be doing and hubby's gonna be helping me. And if you guys have a second pair of hands, please take full advantage of it. It does make the process a little bit easier. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I always say. And we're just wrapping the ribbon from one end to the other end to fully secure it to the the base as well as to the stand in itself to create that carousel look that we want. Then we're gonna take a rubber band to give it extra security and get rid of any gaps that may be there as well. So I love me some ribbon and I love me some rubber bands for anyone who knows us and knows and seen our videos on Instagram. We love rubber bands. So now that we've gotten the bottom, we're going to go ahead and take that second nine feet garland and we're going to do the same thing we are going to wrap it around and the overall goal that we're trying to achieve here is you're basically hiding the the topper the topper we're trying to hide that so right now it looks a little bit lean but that's just because we're trying to secure it. and you want to make sure that it's tightly tucked that way when you let go of it it's still gonna be on that top piece where the seven where the three the three clusters of five seven inch balloons are not visible as well as holding it together and once again you can take your rubber band and give it extra security make sure that it's not going anywhere
So right there is a little bit lean guys, but we did go ahead and we adjusted it um, at some point and you can actually see where the ribbon, the black ribbon is showing and that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna show you guys in the next step how we go about decreasing the gaps and it's pretty simple. All you're doing when you decrease gaps is you're adding fillers. Fillers could include um, mini balloons or mini clusters or even florals. So in this case, we did mini balloons. We did some quads and we used rubber bands to secure them. And it really added or accentuated the overall look for our carousel and guys i just really loved creating this i won't lie really really loved creating it it's absolutely amazing what you can do with balloons there we covered that <laughs> So guys, now I am taking, I call these storage tags or warehouse tags that we would use when you work at a store, a retail store. And I bought this from Amazon as well. It is on that template for you guys to be able to purchase it. And I'm taking pink ribbon that complements the overall look. I'm adding it to this beautiful i don't know if it's a leopard print or yeah cheap cheetah or leopard whatever i'm taking it and i'm adding it to the foil balloon for it to be able to be attached to the carousel guys i'm not gonna lie i bought the foil balloons off of amazon and they are absolutely horrible if you can avoid buying foil, foil balloons from amazon and actually going to a vendor so long as they have it that's the issue they don't always have all the prints or the the types of balloons that we're looking for when it comes to the foil portion of things so if you can avoid buying it off of amazon please do this was just horrible you could just feel it when you took it out the bag um the texture, the feel, everything. It was very thin, like it would pop if you blow too much. But yeah, we made it work because I popped one. <laughs> so all we're doing is we're taking the ribbon and we are just attaching it to our carousel, the topper. And at the bottom, I am just going ahead and doing the same thing. I'm taking it and I'm taking that tag again, securing the ribbon to the tag. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did at the top, which is wrap the ribbon around that existing nine, existing nine feet garland down below as well as up top. And that's going to somewhat prevent it from turning as you can see it here and then what I did was to avoid too much turning I also created a little DIY rigging system where it would turn less because it kept turning and like I said it's more than likely because these balloons were really flimsy the four balloons were very flimsy so definitely would not recommend it um if you could avoid buying it, getting something else like ponies or something, depending on the design that you're doing, go right ahead. And I'm doing the same thing at the top. I am wrapping it. I'm making sure that it's nice and tight and secure. And then I'm just going to wrap it. That way it doesn't twist as much as it, as it is here. It's still going to twist, unfortunately, but it limits the twisting. Guys, I'm literally cursing out the balloon because they just wouldn't stop twisting. Did you see that? I'm cursing it out. Like, it was just so annoying. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
now I'm just trying to strategize to see how best to go about um, just figuring out a way for us to avoid it from consistently turning. Just didn't work out, but we figured it out in the end. We figured it out in the end. And guys, sometimes it, it's, you literally just have to be so imaginative when it comes to balloon styling. Like, get your safety pins, get your rubber bands, get anything you can think of that could assist you with creating these stuff. Now we're taking our turntable, guys, and this was also purchased from Amazon. If you download that template, you'll be able to click the link and um, go ahead and purchase it. And we put it underneath the stand. This is probably something that we should have done before we created all of this, wasn't thinking. But hey, hubby was there, he helped me out, he went down below and he did what he had to do. He put it and made sure that it was right underneath the lamp base and then we just went ahead and put the carousel right back down there and voila we created this beautiful carousel i'm so proud of us guys let us know what your thoughts are leave comments down below and rate it what would you rate this one out of ten would you rate this a ten or five? I, i'm rating this a ten i'm sorry definitely a ten but let me know what your thoughts are and I will catch you guys on the next video.